when you pitch a story to me, give me two sentences maybe, but after that, I'm gonna throw a lot of questions your way. I'm gonna to wanna to know about the people in the story, the background of the story. You need to have all that information in your hands and know it like clockwork. Essentially, you gotta do a lot of the legwork on the story before you ever call me up. We joke about 25 words or less, but it really helps if you can explain what is the theme, what is the meaning of your story. When we need to tell a story, you need to have characters. You need to have people that take unusual concepts or difficult concepts and make it easy for the viewer for, to understand. Think of movies, stories that have drama, that have conflict or contrast, that have characters, details. Always endeavor to tell a truthful story. Don't go out working a story with a preconceived notion of how that tale is gonna turn out. You wanna let that tale come to you and let the characters tell their own story. Their story provides insights into what you're trying to tell in the story that you've written. And you want to make sure that when you put that story together, when you edit that story together, that you do so in a really truthful, honest manner, that you're representing the different interests of those people you've spoken with and events that you've seen honestly. Contrast in a story is Republicans versus Democrats, government versus special interests, Yankees versus Red Sox. It runs the gamut. You always want to try to think visually. We all know terrific video. Terrific video is fire, floods, uh, tornadoes. But beyond that, think of what your first shot is going to be when you're telling a story. Very often, your first shot should be your best shot. So when you pitch me that story, you tell me, the shot I'm thinking about is this guy doing this. If it really works, we'll know right away.